In this video, we're gonna talk about how to give your channel a channel audit. Now, what the heck is that? With a push of a button, you can find out immediately which areas you need to double down on, and I'm gonna show you how. In just a moment, I'm going to take you over to my channel and I'm going to show you how you can do a channel audit with a punch, push of a button, not a punch, a push. Um, but before we do that, I have a question for you. I want you to give me a little bit of a channel audit. Um, lately, I've been adding a little bit of music in my video and for me, I feel like it kind of, you know, sets the mood. It makes it a little calm, you know, makes it stream better. But I want your opinion. Be honest. Um, do you like the music? Do you not like music? Or what would you prefer as a person watching the video? So give me your opinion and that will help me with my channel audit because the audit is to help you get better and that's what it's all about. So you gotta hear the good, the bad, and the ugly, listen to it, and then make changes. So that's your job today is to give me a little bit of an audit with the music or anything else that you see. I'm, I can take that as well because my goal is to improve the video so it's more pleasing for you. All right, let's jump on over. Let's go to my YouTube channel and I'm going to show you how you can do this. Before I show you how to audit your channel using vidIQ, I want to show you, I want to compare it to the analytics that are in YouTube itself because you do have free analytics that are extremely helpful so I'm not undermining any of those. Um, but one of the things that I noticed in YouTube is sometimes I can't as easily compare videos to videos, if that makes sense. And I know that I can compare my last 10 videos down here. I can go through very easily and see how they're doing within the first 10 days. But the video audit from vidIQ gives you more than that. One, what it is, it's a, it's a Chrome extension. You just load it into your Chrome, your Google account, obviously, and then it's an extension right up here. You can turn the extension on or off just by going over here. Um, to the top little dots and go under extensions and then you can turn them on and off so if you have different extensions in here and you want don't want to use all of them at once you can go in and turn it off i like to keep vidIQ running for the number one reason is right here i can see what's happening in real time right now i can be looking at other youtube channels watching another video all over the place anywhere in YouTube and this is always here telling me what's going on right now currently and I can get my stats right away now I will say it is fun to watch it's good to watch but it can also be discouraging to watch because you will see numbers go up and down that's part of analytics so don't get discouraged if your subscribers drop off or if your watch time goes down or, or something like that just watch it and 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 see if it's going down consistently and is there a problem or maybe you have a couple video titles that are really taking off and the velocity is really good then you know that that kind of uh, that topic is good to talk about so th that's what you're watching for it's not to get you discouraged it's to, to help you to see the analytics now to run an audit i just go up here to this little box and i hit the three lines the little sandwich lines and i go under channel audit right away everything pops up what really got me excited about using this it says right here content to double down on right away it tells me and see here my watch time went down my subscribers went down but my views went up last month my views went down and the other two went up so it's up and down but it, it tends to stay within its average if that makes sense um, over here I can see my videos per hour now for me right now being a very small channel these numbers are extremely low um, one video per hour I would think that this one would be fun to watch or more valuable when thousands of views are coming in but it's there this tells me the views of my top four channels and, and all of this is in the last 30 days I can change it I can go to 60 days or 90 days with a video vidIQ boost I am using the pro account and the pro account gives you exactly what I'm seeing here the free account you won't get as much so pro is uh, let me go over here and show you the pricing real quick since we're talking about it the pro account is 750 a month I think I paid like $90 for a year so I'm right now this has been great for me um, I've been very happy with it I feel like when your channel grows that's when you're gonna keep wanting more and more and more I have my competitors over here okay well they're not getting thousands of views per hour either so um, they're getting like 69 views an hour 34 
um, 26 so on, on different um, videos that they have so I'm sitting here thinking they were getting more than that um, subscribers gain I really like this because I know I can go into YouTube analytics and I can pull up every video that I have and see how many um, subscribers I'm getting but how do I compare them and that's what I like about this 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 uh, video right here this month just in the last 30 days got eight subscribers so it lets me know what kind of information are people looking for what is drawing in subscribers if that's my goal am I looking for more views or more subscribers this um, when you come down further at a glance everything I like to call this a one-stop shop everything is right here right in front of you and you can click that button and look at it at any time over here my total watch time and this has the top five videos I can pull this up and get more um, the average watch time on the different videos is right in here and then we have top retention um, even though the watch time might not be as high on this one the retention is higher so um, you, you, it depends on what you're looking at this is your top playlist like which playlist do you have that people are watching and my top one as you can see um, these are the, the different playlists that I have and how many people are watching the entire playlist this I thought was valuable the top suggested video so this video buffer versus later versus Hootsuite I have 98 views that came off of this as suggested videos that's huge in my opinion so what you want to do is look at that and say is that something I want to make a video about because after people are watching that they're looking at a suggested video and looking at one of mine now if you're not sure what any of these different columns are for you can look right here it says top suggested non-owned here are the top videos suggesting your content we suggest making similar content and study the correlation and then double down so they'll give you suggestions on what you need to do just by hitting that information tab again top search terms these are search terms that I have on my videos and these are the ones that have been searched and that's what people are looking for um, here end screen um, are any of these items being picked up and watched on the end screens of my videos and 2% have gone into the playlist and the best for viewer and, and again I'm a small channel I don't want you to look at this and go well that's not very good you're not you're comparing yourself to yourself you're not comparing yourself to somebody that's doing a lot more the only time you need to be looking at somebody doing better is to see what you can learn from them but not to compare yourself and feel discouraged okay so this says content that could work um, lowest average work time here are the um, videos with the lowest average watch time we suggest studying them determine if you should change or stop producing these so they're saying you know maybe these are topics that you should but this is very interest um, this one has lowest retention here and over here lowest views um, compared to some of the others and this is the last 30 days remember that it's only in the last 30 days and then this was valuable as well I actually looked at this uh, probably two weeks ago and right here my title length is usually too long it should be 60 characters and I think this was up to 75 so I've done better to improve that to get it back down to 60 um, and, and this has the description length that's good the tags are good um, playlist now it says to put all of your videos into two I think this um, average is kind of broken because I have some of my course videos in there and I have them unlisted and I think it messes up the analytics but that's okay and my action my SEO score um, over here it says add more cards I don't tend to add cards to every video but I do do end screens so obviously that's showing up as well and you can see um, in the green are things that you're doing well but this is a great way to very quickly click a button and it just does it for you and it's right there one-stop shop so there's a little channel audit and it, it helps you to figure out what is it that I need to be doubling down on and what do I be what kind of content should I make more of what are my what does my audience want from me and that's what this tells me so there you go I hope this was helpful for you I know there are a lot of SEO tools out there and I know being on, in business online it costs money you have to get these different tools and it's hard to decide what is right for you my advice to you is anything that you use 
Um, always go with the lowest program that they have, the lowest price program, because you get more features. Make sure you're using all of them, then move up to the next one. And make sure it's something you use. I have bought tools that have sat there for two and three months and I haven't even used them. So keep track, make sure you put it on a spreadsheet so you know what you've paid for and what you have, and then get rid of the ones that you're not using. Um, you do need tools, but you have to decide which ones are best for you. And I know I've done videos before, which is better, YouTube, uh, TubeBuddy, or vidIQ. I do use both, and I still do, and if one day I use one and not the other, I'll let you know, but I use both, um, to be honest. So um, I will share, I already shared with you which program that I use. I do have a link below if you're interested in looking at vidIQ. I do believe they have a free program that you can start with and then upgrade if you would like. So there you go. Um, Get out there and do an audit. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.